Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for June. So this could happen at any time in June. It is for June. It could be happening now, but this is intended for June. So we're going to go ahead and take those. What do we have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Sun. Sun is a card of happiness, bliss, joy, happiness, and well-being. This is vibrating at a high level, being very, very happy in a really, really good place. Ring. A marriage will take place, either romantic or business. Now, this doesn't mean you're going to get married. This is mean. This means that you are committing to somebody. It could be that you are committing to somebody that you're going to end up marrying. Now, a marriage is a commitment to something, you know, like I just said, a business or a romantic situation. Um, whatever is happening during this time is going to lead you towards... Um, a very happy commitment, okay? Now, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, in case I forgot to mention. So, what do we have for Aries? Ooh, bad advice from a friend or family member. So, you have received some bad advice from somebody? or you're going to this month, you really need to listen to yourself. Don't listen to anybody but yourself. Let's get one of these. What do we have for Aries? The moon. You could be dealing with the Pisces. You could also be dealing with the Cancer. Something is hidden. It's all is not as it seems. Somebody is hiding something. There's something below the surface that you're not seeing. You need to look deeper. You need to look deeper, okay? Uh, there's some somebody is wearing a shadow. The the moon card, which is ruled by Pisces, um, is ruled by the shadow. What you see is not what you get. Okay, so you need to proceed with caution. There is something that is unclear. Listen to your gut. You may be, I feel like, I feel like you're ignoring something. You're ignoring something. Uh, I think that you're being manipulated as well. We have the magician in reverse on the bottom of this deck. There's some sort of manipulation here that you may not be seeing very, very clearly. This is darkness, okay? You're in the dark about a situation and you need to dig, dig because there's something that is hitting, hidden. You're dealing with somebody that is wearing a disguise, okay? And I don't know if it's a family member or somebody that you live with or it's a friend, but and maybe it's somebody that you're, you know, you're in a friendship with and they're just a friend. Anyhow, I do believe that there is something that is below the surface that you are ignoring and I think that you need to dig and you need to look a little bit deeper. So let's get one of these. What do we have for Aries? The bad advice may be from this Pisces. Uh, it might be a Pisces person that's giving you some bad advice. You need to be very careful when you get the moon card. All is not as it seems. This person might have a hidden agenda. Oh, there it is. Change. And it looks like there's there's obviously a change coming that you may be weary about. If you take a look at that, there looks like there's some weariness there. I'm going to go ahead and read that for you. Whoops. I don't know if we can get that to focus. I think we'll go like that. Her windswept shroud wrapped closely. A girl braces against a blustery autumn gale. A daffodil took... I can't speak. A daffodil... <laughs> sorry. A daffodil 
tucked between her ear symbolizes the remembrance and optimism of spring, new life in the inevitable cycles of nature. Twilight fast approaches as the last rays of the setting sun melt into a sultry rose hue. A canopy of tiny stars will soon illuminate the evening sky. Shepherds may well delight in such a sky as it could pretend it could portend a brighter day to follow. The tree will soon shed its leaves and the upturned roots suggest it has already endured many changes. An owl, wisely observing the scene from the barren shelter of its bough, waits for the winds to pass. Now an owl is a symbol of change or a symbol to me and I think it's a native culture, um, Native American, I believe. I'm not positive, but I believe that an owl, owl is a symbol of change. It is also a symbol of death, okay? Um, an owl, wisely observing the scene from the barren shelter of its boughs, waits for the winds to pass. The presence of this card signals change on the horizon. Like the falling leaves in twilight sky depicted, a cycle has reached its natural conclusion. So you have a cycle that is ending in your life. Okay, something is ending. Nature reveals that the only constant in life is change itself. By wisely accepting and embracing change, you allow the old to gracefully pass in order to make way for new growth. And the sun is a card of new growth. It's a new day. It's a new beginning. If change is needed, you can delight in the adventure of a new phase. But you cling too tightly to the past and carry attachments that no longer serve your highest good. And if you do that, tests may arise. Change always comes bearing new gifts but they may or may not be what you imagined. At times we are powerless to affect change as it is very as it is the very nature of life itself. Faith is part of the ballast that stabilizes us against unpredictable twists and turns in life and helps us adapt to unforeseen changes. It's interesting because I said that something is below the surface, all is not as it seems. There is something that is happening that is unforeseen, so get prepared for that. You are always free to choose how best to handle change, but by seeking out the relevant wisdom it brings, you venture forward joyously, you venture jo <laughs> You venture forward joyously with hope in your heart and a spring in your stride. So your life is about to change in a very big way. I see profound change. You may not see it coming, but something is going to happen. I think that for some of you, you're dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. Um, all is not as it seems. Uh, I feel like there is something that is about to happen that is probably going to... Uh, cause you to proceed with caution. You do have a new day. You have a new beginning. Uh, this is a breakthrough. This is, this is going to lead you towards happiness. I think you're going to be committing to something new. Um, this is probably going to lead to long-term commitment. So I think that you're going to be committing to something that is actually a real commitment, you know, and I think that you have probably been in a situation where there's been some sort of deception. There's been some lies, you know, that somebody's been wearing a shadow that what you see is not what you get. Um, anyhow, I do. And I feel like this person, whoever it is that you've been dealing with in the past has given you some bad advice. There's deception here. You know, when you choose to allow yourself to be engaged with people that are deceptive, it brings you down. That affects your karma. It affects your truth. It affects your future. It affects your abundance. Okay. If you are allowing somebody to, to guide you down on a deceptive path because of illusion, you know, or fantasy, then you're going to, you're going to not have the abundance that you deserve because you're refusing to accept, you know, the reality of whatever it is. Uh, anyhow, change is on the horizon. And I think that you're gaining some sort of wisdom through this experience. I think you've been in a, in a, in some sort of uh, deceptive situation. Absolutely, I do.
I feel as, lo as soon as you accept change and go down this path, whatever this change of this change is you're going to you're going to feel relief you're going to feel relief you're going to feel uh no oh, what's that son extreme joy that's that's bliss being in a very very happy place but the moon card is about fears you could be dealing with somebody that puts fear in your head you know Really, really pay attention to your intuition. If your gut is telling you that somebody is hiding something, the answer is yes. This does definitely have to do with a commitment. Things are going to change really, really, really fast for you. Some of you are headed right towards abundance. You may be headed towards somebody that is abundant. This is in your future. This is somebody that is self-sufficient, self-employed. Uh, abundant, enjoying the finer things in life. Some of you are are going to be, uh, I think you're going to be committing to somebody that, I don't know, the Nine of Pentacles is the Empress in the Minor Arcana. So this is somebody that is uh, well off, uh, abundant, wealthy, hardworking, uh, self-reliant, self-sufficient, has worked hard to obtain success and this could be your energy you may be committing to yourself because this is a card of self this is an independent person who is capable of success by themselves and this is commitment and happiness some of you are committing to something you may be and, and i think you're going to be uh moving towards somebody that you know i don't know this has to do with a marriage you may be marrying somebody getting to propose getting getting together with somebody you may be getting a proposal or somebody may be getting a proposal um this is a marriage it is a commitment things happening really really fast headed towards abundance something very very this is comfortable living very comfortable living with somebody that is abundant so i do see abundance in your future in things changing really 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 fast this is fast forward movement and money coming in you know abundance coming your way but it does require change so that this card did not come up for no reason. You're going to have to change your current circumstances to have this abundance. Because I feel like there's some sort of deception here that you have been ignoring. So anyhow, there's an opportunity for great happiness and abundance. But you have to commit yourself to that and that's going to require you to use your intuitive wisdom to use your ability to change you have you are capable some of you may be afraid because the moon instills fear okay it's darkness okay and when you're out in the dark it's fucking scary so i think that i think that you know there is some sort of uh I think that, I don't know, I feel like there's some sort of fear here. Fear, maybe there's fear of not being successful or fear of being alone or fear of not being accepted. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that has instilled some sort of fear in you. And I feel like you need to rise above it. You need to look deeper. You ha are very, very capable. You are... Well, you're capable of success and you're capable of taking care of yourself and you're capable of, of, uh, mate. This is like self happiness, self happiness, self commitment. You have to commit yourself. You have to commit yourself to, um, being happy, going after happiness going after abundance and that's going to require some sort of change intuition is big here as well intuition you need to listen to your own gut listen to your intuition i feel as though you have been allowing somebody to guide you that is not very this person is dark okay this person is dark they they're not on your side 
And maybe you're married to this person now or you are committed to this person now. But this is a change and this is a change. So I do see a change here. I see change is coming for you. The ten, ten of swords on the bottom. That is the death of a situation. And we, saw, and we saw death in this card. So there is something that is ending. This is, you know, giving up. This is the straw that breaks the camel's back. It's over. This is goodbye. Okay? This is goodbye. So I do believe that somebody has reached a breaking point where, you know, this is the ultimate betrayal of some sort. I don't know. I mean, this Ten of Swords, this is... Um, this is a physical or mental collapse or the death of a situation. It is the end. It is the end of a situation where there's been a lot of suffering. I feel like, well, this is the end of a painful, stressful situation. It is coming to an end. I feel like something is going to happen. Something that has been hidden is going to be revealed. And it's going to be the straw that breaks the camel's back. For some of you, this is business related. You are capable of being your own business owner, you know, of starting your own business. Or you're dealing with somebody that is a business owner. The Nine of, of Pentacles is somebody that is self-sufficient, self-reliant, enjoying the finer things in life. Very wealthy, independent, uh, has a lot to offer. This is somebody of value that knows their value. I feel like you are headed, either you're headed towards this... Uh, place you know where you're going to become this person that is very independent and wealthy or you are headed towards somebody that is successful okay this is a hard worker that has worked themselves up okay this is this is somebody that is sitting pretty And I feel like you're going to be, if this is not you, you're going to be communicating with this person more and more and more and more and more. Maybe you're going to be committing to this person more and more and more and more. Oh, there we got that sun card again. That sun card is freedom. It is yes. It is being accepted. You will be accepted. This is fear of being alone. Some of you are very scared. You're very scared of being alone. You're scared of uh, going your own way. If you are in a commitment now, it's a, a fear. It is definitely fear of being alone or fear of not being accepted. I see a new conscious awareness here. I definitely feel like you haven't been listening to your gut. I think it's time for you to stop hiding your feelings. I feel like it's time for you to reconnect. It's time for you to socialize. I think you're going to be socializing with somebody that could really bring you growth, that could make you happy and help you heal. This is a very healing energy. This one is as well. This is a birth of a new life. So you have, a, you have an ending that leads to a new beginning. This is a breakthrough. This is vibrating at a very, very high level. Uh, things getting better really, really, really fast as soon as you make a change. So, the change is in your hands because nobody can make the change but you. There is somebody that is behind you that is restricting you from happiness. You have an opportunity for abundance, for a new life, for extreme happiness with the sun card twice. You can be extremely happy if you commit yourself to that happiness. But, <laughs> change comes before this happiness. So you're going to have to make a change. And I can see that it's not easy. I can see by the look on this person's face that this is something you have been thinking about and you have been struggling with. And I feel like it's because, and you have to have an ending first. That first, that owl symbolizes an ending. Okay, it symbolizes a death. The Ten of Swords symbolizes a death. There is a death here. There is something that ends. Okay, this, this needs to end. It's a previous commitment with a deceptive individual who has been giving you bad advice. And I feel like this person that you're dealing with is not really committed they may be single. They may say that they're single, you know, or in their mind they're single. They're always looking for somebody else. That's not a commitment. When you're in a commitment, you let the whole world know.
Anyhow, um, there is a new beginning here. There's an opportunity for happiness. I see the birth of a new life. This is coming out of hiding. There's nothing to hide. There's nothing to fear. This is a positive, positive, positive change. I feel like you're going to be healing. You're going to be in your glory. I think you're going to be glowing. You're going to see your, your worth increase. I think your, your self-worth is going to be increasing. Somebody has been uh, bringing you down. Ah, poor judgment call. It's time to move on from a bad choice. That's the meaning of the judgment card reversed. Okay? And that is somebody from your... It feels like you have made some poor judgment calls in the past. And that's where where there's fear of being accepted. That that judgment in reverse is I won't be accepted. There's, there's a, a need for you to cho choose to make a decision. The two of wands reversed is delaying, procrastinating... Staying put, stuck. You have a whole new world right, right in the palm of your hands, and you are stay, you are stuck. You are stuck. It's time for you to commit yourself to something better, to a better life. What are you worth? What is your value anyway? Anyhow, I feel like you are really, really struggling. You're procrastinating. There's fear of the unknown here. I feel like you've made a poor judgment call, and I feel like there's guilt. There's guilt. You may be feeling guilty. You could be dealing with somebody that makes you feel guilty. You know, you may feel guilty, like, you know, for for uh, leaving them, for moving in a new direction. Don't feel guilty. Don't feel guilty. If it's not making you happy, if it's not bringing you the abundance that, that you deserve, then you don't, you don't know your value. You need to move forward. You need to. There's definitely a lack of truth here with the judgment reverse. There's dishonesty. Somebody has been lying. They haven't been telling you the, telling the truth. And I feel like it's time for you to move on from that bad choice. There's also poor health here with judgment reversed. And I feel like somebody's health is declining because they've been procrastinating and staying in a commitment where... You know, they really, really, really want to move forward. So anyway, I do believe that you have a new beginning here that comes after you accept that it's time for you to move forward. That Eight of Wands is moving forward. It is time for you to uh, stop hiding and, and come out, come out of, of hiding, you know, come out of wherever you've been you've already you already know what you need to do i think you have a lot of intuitive wisdom here and the struggle is real really 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 real i think that you have been really lonely it's almost like you've been in some sort of lonely commitment with an individual that is keeping you stuck but you've chosen to stay stuck you've chosen to and I think it's because of fear. I think that you're dealing with somebody who instills fear in you. I feel like this person, uh, probably, I don't know what they say to you, but I feel like they make you feel like, feel like you're a bad person, like you should be ashamed or you should feel guilty. They may even put a guilt trip on you. Um, there's some sort of, I feel like there's some sort of midlife crisis here. You may be experiencing a midlife crisis um, because you have to make a judgment call and I think that you haven't, you've been procrastinating. You've been procrastinating with making a life-changing decision and this is a life-changing decision. It definitely is. You have abundance right around the corner. You have success and you have happiness and joy and bliss, but you aren't going to have that until you make this change that you are struggling to make. And that's going to require you to step outside of your comfort zone. And I feel like right now you're in a very, you're in a situation where it's comfortable, but it's lonely. It's lonely. I don't even see any love in these cards. I don't. I don't think it's a loving situation. There's love in the future. Absolutely. The sun card is a card of love. It's over here. Okay. This is the future. All right. So I think that you have love in the future, extreme bliss, extreme happiness, but you're going to have to uh, step into unknown territory and move forward.
So I feel like this month you are going to be committing yourself to going down a new path. You're, it's almost like you're being guided because if you think about the moon, the moon is darkness, the sun is light. We go from darkness to light. And so that's what's happening here. You're going from a dark situation, a negative situation, to a light situation. You're being, this is like a guiding light. The sun is a guiding light. You're being guided into a more positive, healthy, beautiful situation. But if you choose to stay in the darkness, well, that sucks for you. Somebody else will take that opportunity, I'm sure. The High Priestess, of course. So the High Priestess is, you know, a tarot reader, a medium, a psychic, somebody that is an empath, very, very spiritual, uh, highly, highly, highly intuitive, gifted, gives good advice so I do believe there is somebody here in your life that does have a gift okay this is a gifted individual that uh, has some sort of advice for you perhaps you need to listen to that advice um, the high priestess is a gift and this could be your energy for some of you you uh, have a gift you have a gift Maybe you're not aware of that gift. This is a lack of awareness, I f and this one is too. So I feel like you have been unaware of somebody's gift. Could be the person you're dealing with. This is a lack of awareness of somebody's gift. You are moving towards somebody that is very, very spiritual and gifted self-sufficient both of these cards this is somebody that is self-sufficient abundant wealthy and can make you extremely happy um spiritual very 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 spiritual you could be dealing with the taurus you could be dealing with a virgo you could be dealing with a leo in the future in the past you either have a pisces or a cancer or a scorpio You're going to need to really tap into your intuition and follow your gut. Stop hiding. Go down that path. I see a guiding light as well. This is a light. This is see the light. We got a light here. We got a light here. We got a light here. You are being guided down a new path. I see enlightenment here as well. This is a new spiritual journey. It's a time of growth. Your soul is growing, healing. If you accept this change that is needed, you will have wealth and abundance in your future. But this is procrastination. You have waited and waited and stayed put for long enough. Because of a commitment, I feel like you are currently in this is a poor judgment call. You're only hindering your own happiness by staying put. It's time to move forward. You know it is. Good luck. <laughs>